All right, hey everyone. This is the first video of my channel, and uh, there's some, uh, there's a few things that I want to point out that uh, that I found on Google Earth. Um, since a few people I've seen have started using this to uh, to check out uh, spots that could be ancient or new, um, I really don't know, and that's why I'm putting this out there to uh, ask the question to the public. Uh, if you live in Manitoba. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I found this in a marshland uh, in marsh of uh, Lake Manitoba. And I'm not quite sure if this is a uh, new or old structure. I know uh, in the marshes there is a uh, conservancy uh, conservation uh, projects uh, for wildlife and um, to protect the watershed of the lakes and the marshlands. But I'm really not sure because if you zoom out, like I've I found multiple spots here. And multiple spots um, that are, uh, I find, uh, they're anomalies. Um, they could be totally recent. I'm not too sure, just putting the question out there. But this really um, stood out to me. Um, and if you go in to this structure, uh, right now I'm aligned with, the, uh, with True North. And this sort of is aligned with True North. Uh, there's probably... You know, a few degrees off. I mean, this thing you can see right right away; it's not perfect, and also doesn't have any uh, elevation. It looks like, but this is a marshland. If this is megalithic, or if it was megalithic, um, if it's all rock formation, this would have probably sunk in the marshland. So that could be a reason why, or it could be totally man-made by you know this guy right here who lives. This this seems seems like this could be his land. But this is all protected. So there's another thing that, uh, you know, looking at this, looking deeper at it, you know, um, there seems to be a form there, maybe a, a, you know, a symbol, looks like a circle, it looks like a line or three dots here, you know, but you can't make it out. It's too far away and Google Earth isn't that detailed up close. But if I zoomed out, and here, like I'll show you another thing that I found here, it sort of looks like a rectangle here. Um, but that's not the focus main point of this of this video. If you look here, and you go right down south, right? If this is a line to true north, and you go right down here, this looks like a cardinal point, right? It looks like, um, you know, what you see on the old maps. If you look out here, and it's pretty much aligned. There's another thing I was looking at tonight, and it looks like, you know, it looks right down here. There seems to be like some... Some shading in the land here and it looks like another rectangle here you know it's very enigmatic and why would it be directly south of here between this point and this point here I find that kind of puzzling and interesting at the same time but anyway I just wanted to poke uh, you know show you this and I'll put the mouse on it and you can see the the coordinates on the bottom right corner so I'll just leave it there so you can write it down and go check it out on your, you know, on your own. And uh, if you live in Manitoba and you are aware of this, or if you're part of the University of Manitoba um, and you have knowledge about this, uh, please let me know uh, or write in the comment section. Um, so I'll just pan out here. And then, uh, so we'll leave that one alone and I'll show you a few other things that I've found. You know, I just look, I look through the land, I look for uh, geometric patterns and something that could be interesting. If it, uh, you know, I, if you look around, uh, you know, wherever you live uh, in the world and you look around, it, a lot of the stuff just looks, you know, natural. There's nothing that sticks out. Uh, but these marshes in Manitoba are, are more remarkable. And I'll give you a good example of that. I'm not going to focus right now on this area. Uh, but if you if I just go over here in this area uh, and this could be totally recent I'm not claiming that this is anything ancient but it is interesting um, why would you go out to these lengths to uh, like this could be more recent because you know uh, for drainage of this area here um, but right here if you zoom in here um, it does look like a forget my uh, uh, my tags here but if you look in here why would you go to great lengths to dig up little trenches in here and you know the letter r i don't even know what if this is 
you know, if this is meant to be a letter or, you know, upside down D, whatever, right? Um, make up your own mind. Go look at it yourself because uh, I've not modified these maps at all. It's right off uh, Google Earth. But if you look in closely, I mean, it does look like, it, you know, lived in uh, to some fashion. This could be more recent because it doesn't look as uh, old and so irregular as this. Uh, again, I'm not claiming anything is ancient or whatever, but um, I did some research on the marshlands and the watershed conservancy, but I couldn't find any maps of any trenches or projects um, uh, that relate to like sort of like this. It's so irregular. And um, so I, I found tons of places that are just so, you know, why would you create a ring, you know, irrigation ring? here um there's tons of patterns all over the place here if you just scan around forget my tags just scan around and see if you could find anything um you know anything weird or out of place like this right here why is this here um it looks like a rectangle and you know throughout generations there there could have been uh, massive flooding here uh, uh at one point i think 2500 BC or years ago, I don't remember rem remember uh, exactly, but uh, this was a river delta off of, uh, I'll zoom out here, off of Lake Manitoba. This whole area is protected, this whole area. But there is, you know, there's something about these marshlands. And I've, I've checked out a few other ones, and I'll show you a few interesting, uh, uh, a few other interesting places that I found. Right near, where's uh, where's Winnipeg? Winnipeg's right down here. So right down in here. I found a few interesting places. And I'm pretty sure that this is m much more modern and it could be part of a project. But I found it very interesting uh, nonetheless. Uh, I don't know. I tried to look at yeah, Grant's Lake. I tried looking up uh, Grant's Lake. It didn't really pop up. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong area. Maybe someone can help me with this. But I found this very interesting. These patterns, and I found a few other places like that. Uh, where is it? Yeah. So right down in here could be a. Uh, Conservation area. Um, anyway, all I'm asking is uh, just go have a look at the uh, the this the one point uh, in particular that I brought attention to, and it's right down in here. So this is Lake Manitoba. You go right down in the marshlands. And it's this thing right here. And um, you may ask yourself, like, what got me to this point? Uh, someone had brought up on YouTube, I, I don't remember who, and I apologize, but um, I, I think it's an old Icelandic settlement um, on Lake Winnipeg. And I'll show you that spot right now. It's up here somewhere. There it is. So this whole island um, is uh, was an Icelandic settlement at some point in time. But I find, like, I don't know when this flooded, uh, that there's no, again, no elevation whatsoever. It's a marshland. Uh, this is a touristic area. There's a boardwalk here going right there. If, I, if you zoom in here, there's a foundation of some sort here, or an old foundation. And there's all these, like, points, these zigzags with, it uh, looks like stones all around. I'm not sure because it's flooded. And I don't know what it originally looked like. And over here, right? obviously very interesting area and uh several foundations um a wall here tons of irrigation if you look here somebody made this that's for sure uh, and then irrigation with uh looks like stones maybe just the uh the dirt from the actual irrigation or the the manufacturing of it and then it's all irrigated all the way around this part here Anyway, just scan the area and uh, let me know in the uh, comment section 
and this is my first video. Um, I'm going to do many more videos of what I find uh, in Canada and elsewhere just to try to, to see what I can find and to do some research. But if you have any information of what I've showed you in this video, please leave in the comment section. I appreciate it. So subscribe and um, hit the notification bell if you are interested in any of this. Uh, and then go just go on Google Earth and check it out for yourself. There is uh, many interesting things in the north. Right? This is quite north of even Winnipeg. Right? So there's tons of areas that are just uh, very interesting. So go look at them and uh, leave some comments. Cheers. Thanks.